I don't know what the hell Spencer Matthews was thinking here because he looked so much better in the before pictures. All right, boys, welcome back to the Sean Jones YouTube channel. Now, I'm not someone who keeps up with or even watches reality television, but a lad from the Maiden Chelsea TV show has recently posted a really good body transformation, which you can see right here. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why I said what I said in the beginning of this video, and it's because that's what people are saying. I personally think he looks good, but he's got a lot of haters, as usual, when someone has a body transformation because it brings out the insecurities in people. So with this transformation, he posted the caption in the picture on the left my life was spiraling out of control it was during made in chelsea and i had a drinking problem i would drink to excess almost daily and i had deluded sense of grandeur i was uncomfortable in my own skin and change felt like too much of an effort i thought that because i was a prominent character on a popular tv show the things would just happen for me not realizing that any kind of real success only comes through hard graft and determination i had no routine no motivation no drive and no plan my unsustainable appetite for socializing become detrimental to my health health and wellness. On the right, 10 years later, I've embraced a different lifestyle and I've self-discipline and purpose. I've been training religiously, weightlifting three times a week, running, not drinking, and being mindful of my health. A routine, clear plan, and consistency is important. Your goals won't achieve themselves. I used to be out of breath walking up a single flight of stairs. I'm currently banging in the middle of training for the Jungle Ultra for the Michael Matthews Foundation. It's a 230 kilometer self-sufficient foot race through the Amazon rainforest. And the Michael Matthews Foundation was founded over 20 years ago in memory of my late brother Michael who passed away during his descent from the summit of Everest. The foundation works to provide education and safety to children in remote and underprivileged areas in rural Tan Tanzania. In rural Tanzania, we've helped over 7,000 children so far. This race is challenging, but it's nothing compared to the struggles that these children will face every day without our support. I'm delighted to be running for a cause that means so much to me, and I hope to make Michael proud. For more information on the Michael Matthews Foundation or to donate to this amazing cause, please head to the link in my bio. So it's a pretty positive message all around. Now, as we can see in the before picture, he's not exactly obese. He's probably around 20, 22% body fat, which isn't anything crazy. But for someone of his age, 34, you should really be below 20% body fat just to be within the health healthy category and by being below 20% body fat it reduces your risk for cancers heart disease type 2 diabetes strokes basically just all the bad stuff and the fact that he was drinking every single day he was probably in a really unhealthy state now the guy has lost a good amount of fat packed on a little bit of muscle and is overall more healthy now yet if we take a look at the comments I think the special tablets have a lot to do with this if you're insinuating steroids this guy's done this naturally he is not on steroids now could he be yeah, it's always a potential. You never know, really. But does this physique look like someone who's on gear? No, not at all. He's just lost a little bit of fat and built a little bit of muscle. Not a fan of dad bods, but also not a fan of ripped. Ages people too much. A happy medium for me. So someone's hard to please. On juice, look at the weird nipples. Now, I don't want to comment on another man's nipples, but there's nothing wrong with him. Now, what we can see here, he's got a little bit of a pec imbalance. So his pecs are different shapes. Most people have this. It's just they're not lean enough to actually see the shape of the chest. Both of my pecs are different shapes. If you get lean enough, you'll be able to see this. It's only a select few people who have really symmetrical physiques, and that's all down to genetics. So hating on him for something he can't change is pretty low, in my opinion. Someone said he looks older than 34. Okay, let's see what you look like. He looked better before. In my opinion, he didn't. A self-professed vitamin S user. By vitamin S, they mean steroids. Now, I don't know, has he actually admitted to taking steroids in the past? I'm not sure. Okay, so it seems like he has taken steroids in the past. That was in 2016. Ah... I remember this guy now. Yeah, he was on I'm a Celebrity. Okay, yeah, so he has been in pretty decent shape in the past, and he said that he's actually taken steroids. Yeah, so we can see there he's quite big. But what's interesting is we can see the difference between him in these pictures and then this picture on the left. And even now, on the picture on the right, you can tell that he's natural now. And this is the thing, people talking about he looks older than 34. Steroids do actually age you, so that would actually make sense why he might look older than 34, because he's been on the gear. As I say, you can tell he's natural now. He hasn't got the 3D look to his muscles anymore. Now, he's still got the chest there. He's still got decent abs, but you can see his delts aren't as poppy as they were previously. For example, we look at this picture. You can see how pronounced his delts are and his upper chest. This is indicative of someone who's taking gear. Whereas this is someone who is natural. Now, obviously, he's not going to be a lifetime natural, but I can imagine that he's probably not taking anything here. Yeah, he looks natural here. He looked great before anyway. Looks weird. Once again, probably referring to the muscle imbalance. More of a powder problem. Probably referring to coke. Daily Mail. Why are you obsessed with people's bodies? You pave about them all the time. Do you need to talk to 
someone about your problem? Why are you commenting on the article? And why are you clicking on it? Daily Mail knows what gets clicks, that's why. Juiced to the max, maybe in the past, not now though. He looked better before, it's really aged him. Don't forget there's 10 years between these two photos. So it's not the losing weight that's aged him, it's the 10 years that's aged him. He's on the juice like all these other so-called celebrities. I've trained with weights for the last 40 odd years and believe me, you can't transform your body like this in months without the aid of outside help. As he said, there's a 10 year difference between these photos, so he hasn't done it in months, has he? I prefer the dad bod, this looks unnatural. I prefer the before pictures. He's had boob implants, not bothered, it just looks like it to me. He looked much better, hotter with his masculine muscle dad body. I prefer the before version personally. Looks like he's had the fat and fun sucked from him. It's okay to live a little. Why do we associate someone who is lean and in shape and healthy with not being fun and then someone who is fat and out of shape with being fun? You're gonna die sooner. How about that? I'm not gonna go through every single comment, but there's dozens and dozens of negative comments about his physique saying that he looked better before. I put up a post the other day on my Instagram and on my YouTube community post about my reverse transformation since having COVID and since being sick. I'll do a full breakdown video about it in the future, but I basically haven't trained for like the last 13, 14 weeks and I've lost a significant amount of muscle and gained a significant amount of fat. And there's still people who look at that picture and say, oh, you still look great, but you know in yourself how you feel. So it doesn't really matter what other people think. And at the end of the day, we all want to look good on the beach. And of course, some of that motivation is for other people. So you look good in front of other people and other people aren't looking at your gut. But a lot of that motivation comes from us just wanting to feel good in ourselves. So this is one thing I hate massively. It doesn't matter who the person is shaming them for getting fit and healthy and turning the life round. It's just a little bit immature. Hate always comes from below. And I guarantee all these people commenting, saying they prefer the before picture, they're all probably fat and out of shape. Have you ever lost a significant amount of weight, got in great shape, and then had people say that you looked better previously? This happens a lot. I have clients where they'll lose like three, four stone, and then they get colleagues, friends, and family members say to them, oh, don't lose too much weight. You're starting to look a little bit slim now. Yeah, because they're being used to you being obese for 20 years. So of course you look too slim. You've just lost four stone. Anyway, comment down below, leave your opinions, give this video a like, and make sure you subscribe. We upload every single day on this channel. Okay, see you tomorrow.